Hello guys, I want to show you an update for the plastic submarine I'm creating for the U-Boot, the board game. So let's get started. First of all, I want to show you enhancements uh, from the last version. This is the last version of front of submarine. You can see uh, triangles here. It was created at low resolution enlarge it and so on and uh, it doesn't look pretty so this is a new version it's much smoother if you can compare it I will also change these openings this in all versions squared now it's pretty nicer and okay. so this is the first update I have for you and also I create the uh, better front of submarine this could scratch your mat so now it looks better and I probably enhance it more in the new version so let's check the new items for you so it's back of submarine is created already now I'm printing the bottom part and uh, this is a new part from the last session you had this is the control room of submarine you can see more details than its previous version these are beds, it's quarters, kitchen and engine controls and so on Uh, it happens that there are some uh, stringing here that's because I have also obsolete printer and I will have to buy a new one if I want to have prints nicer and smoother but I'm uh, checking out how I can remove it so in the final version there will be no stringing at all You can see, you can uh, photos of Kriegsmarine, some of them was agile, frosty stickers, toilets, kitchen. And I already add more details, this is the uh, work in progress version and uh, it looks very nice, I think. So you can put some comment if you look if you like it uh, so let's uh, go back to this one I already reworked it it's a loose size it's pretty, pretty straight design and lines some circles and so on so I redesigned this part also it will be much much nicer and uh, uh, that's uh, basically all I'm still working on it and uh, you will see next update next week and what uh, I try to bend this uh, periscope and antenna so if I can see that they are going to broke and they did so I will probably uh, make uh, uh, them uh, wider a bit or I will just put holes like this and uh, you can use some metallic uh, rod or plastic rod or, uh, or wood just wooden and paint it and insert it into the into the hole uh, which will be in there so I need to think about it this is a control tower as you can see so uh, I think the submarine uh, is almost done I, I need to rework some parts I need to reward some parts, I'm working already on it and the uh, whole submarine now has more than 50 so it will be about 75 75 centimeters and uh, we are missing the latest, latest part is uh, like the submarine and 
I only I need to buy new magnets because on one submarine there will be about 30 magnets, uh, and I am still thinking about uh, make a removable control tower, so you can uh, remove it when when needed, and store it, so your antenna will not broke, so in a more safe place, and you can also exchange it with another another one if you have two or more. So you can paint it, paint the sign here, and you can have the same sign, and you will just snap it to the magnets and replace the replace the old one with new one with new sign and so on. So still, uh, I'm thinking about it, and we will see uh, in the in the final version if I still keep it as it. So that's all for the updates. I hope you like the. Uh, more detailed version and I need still to work on it and uh, I need to borrow some better printer to test it on it uh, basically string this stringing and uh, hopefully I will have new, new updates next week for you uh, I think I can finish at least another another part of submarine and rework rework this this one. Uh, so uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, if you have any question or comment just uh, ask me and uh, I, will try, I will do my best to answer you. So bye for now.